So the third type of trap that we're going to talk about today is the Rider Gravid trap. And Gravid is a term which just means pregnant or egg carrying. We're looking for a mosquito that has already been blood fed and is ready to lay her eggs. So in this case, this is probably the ultimate in a virus surveillance system because we know that that mosquito has taken the blood meal and potentially has contracted a virus from whatever host or source it took the blood meal. The way that this trap operates, we have the tub, which is the source of the attractant. We put a, a stinky water into this tub. It's a highly organic solution, which attracts the mosquitoes to the trap. And then the apparatus to collect the mosquito is lowered into the tub so that the top of the tube is just maybe a half an inch above the water surface. So as the female mosquitoes come into the tub to deposit their eggs, they are sucked up by the fan and drawn up in an updraft motion through the tube and deposited into the collection net at the top of the trap. This particular trap is most effective against uh, or in collecting mosquitoes that are drawn to those highly organic sites. In some places in Wyoming, you may not find mosquitoes that are going to be attracted to this. Here in Laramie, we, we don't use this particular trap because it's not effective on the mosquitoes we have here. If you live in some of the lower elevations in Wyoming, uh, particularly maybe the Torrington, Powell areas, uh, maybe some of those places in, uh, in Fremont County where you have Culex pipians, this trap would be especially effective against those mosquitoes. They really like that organic water that you would use for the attractant. The CDC recommends a specific brew for your uh, stinky water, as they call it. 30 gallons of water, a pound of alfalfa hay, a half an ounce of brewer's yeast, and a half an ounce of whey protein. Mixed together, set in the sun in a jug for five days before you put it back out here, you have a lovely fermented broth that will draw mosquitoes and probably uh, some other critters from miles away. Location of this trap, it should be placed on the ground and generally it's placed back under some shrubbery or under a tree, some place that will protect it and allow those mosquitoes to feel a confidence to come into this particular location and lay their eggs. Most entities put this trap in the same location that they've set their CDC traps. That way you don't have to make multiple stops along your collection route and your setting route for these particular traps. 